So you know those little things that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but man, do they get under your skin and just drive you nuts. Well, for me, this is one of those things. So stick around and we're gonna learn a little bit about BDSM history and a little bit of pronunciation. Hey guys, it's Morgan with BDSM Relationships and Education. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is just going to be a little short one today, um, but I do want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, uh, turn on your notifications. And if you'd like to support me through Patreon, uh, I now have an account and a link down below. So anyways, let's get into the meat of this. And it's going to be uh, how to pronounce the word dom. And as you can see, every time I say dom, we're going to have <laughs> which one I'm talking about on the bottom of the screen here so that you know. So the word dom is one of those silly things that doesn't really matter that much. But man, does it drive me nuts sometimes. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to tackle here is the pronunciation of dom. Um, it's dom. And as you see, we've got the spelling flashing below us. But anyways, dom, D-O-M-M-E equals dom. There's, it's not dome or dommy or, or, or any of those kind of things that I've heard people say. It's just dom. So let's get into a little bit of history here. Now, the word dom did not even exist in BDSM language until somewhat recently. Um, and it'll be a lot more recent for someone like me than some of you guys who are, you know, quite young and just getting into BDSM. Um, but when I first started in BDSM in the 90s, it, it was not a thing. Uh, there was no uh, little spelling thing to... Uh, you know, differentiate between a, a male dom and a female dom, we were all just dominance. Um, so it came about when internet chat rooms started really gaining in popularity, sort of the beginning to mid 90s. Um, but I did, I don't remember seeing it uh, in, in the early 90s. And I don't even remember seeing it that much in the mid 90s. It was sort of one of those like things that you saw occasionally, and not very often. Um, so, but the reason that it, it exists at all is because of those chat rooms. Um, within the chat rooms, people wanted an easy way uh, to sort of differentiate between a male dom and a female dom. Uh, why they went this way, I'm not entirely sure. I know that it was inspired by uh, French language words where the feminine form of the word has an extra sort of E on the end. I'm not sure why they didn't go with femdom, uh, if they really wanted to differentiate between the two, um, or just F dom and M dom. Um, and, and that may have been because of the connotations within pornography of femdom specifically. So again, if we kind of take the word dom and look at it as it's intended, where it's modeled, after the French language, uh, it doesn't change the pronunciation of the word. So adding that E on the end doesn't necessarily change it. If we did want to pronounce it, then we would need a little accent above the E, and then it would indicate that we have to pronounce that E. Without that accent, it's just Dom. Um, so we think about like other words that are similar, where we think about femme, as in femme fatale, or however you want to sort of pair that up. Um, it has the same ending, it has that sort of M-E on the end, but it's just femme. Um, so we don't say femme fatale, we just say femme fatale, or again, whatever sort of words you want to pair femme with. So uh, when it comes down to it, I personally don't use dom with the E to describe myself. Um, for me, dom or dominant is sort of a gender neutral word. It sort of bothers me that we've had to, uh, you know, make up this word that indicates that, you know, someone is a woman or, or female identified or woman identified. Um, I, I just don't see the point in it. Um, but if you like using the word dom, then by all means, go for it. Don't, don't, just because I don't like it doesn't mean you can't use it. Um, and I'm not going to think any less of people who use it. Um, I may kind of giggle if you pronounce it dame, um, which I've heard people do before. It's very rare, but I have heard it in BDSM circles. 
Um, and it's usually people who are either brand new or just not really into kink culture as a uh, overall thing. They're sort of tourists at kink parties, calling it Dame. Um, so I may giggle under my breath at you if you do pronounce it that way. But if you like pronouncing it that way, then who the fuck cares, right? I mean, me giggling under my breath, it really means nothing in the grand scheme of things. So if you want to use Dom, use Dom. If you want to pronounce it Dom A, pronounce it Dom A. Uh, just know that a lot of us sort of will give you a funny look at the very least, if that's what you're saying. Um, I, for me, again, I just don't see the need to differentiate between Dom and Dom. Um, I, I call myself a dominant. And if you want to shorten that to Dom, you can. Um, if I need to, like, indicate that somebody is male or female, I'll just say male or female dom, right? Or um, I will indicate that the person is gender fluid, or I'll indicate that, you know, oh, this woman who is a dom, or whatever. Um, I just, I don't feel the need for it. Um, and I think that it sort of sets up this dichotomy where we have, okay, well, here's the dominance, the real ones who are by default male. And then, you know, well, there's these other little ones that, I mean, they're women and they like to think that they're doms. So it's okay. We just, we, we give them a funny word for it. It's French. So that's sort of the impression that I get from it. But if you like the word, use it. Um, just because I'm not crazy about it doesn't mean anything, right? Do what makes you happy. Uh, but I just wanted to throw that out there as one of those little things that gets under my skin is the pronunciation of it, plus the existence of it, I guess, in general. Um, and, and hopefully to make you guys think just a teeny bit. Um, and if you don't care, that's cool too, by all means. Anyways, thank you very much for checking this out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.